So do you have, like, did you have like a secret crush growing up, like maybe in the public eye? I did, I did, I, I, had, I had a few, but I think the one, you know, the one that sort of um, trumps the rest was I, I had, a, I used to um, buy my bed when I was about 16, 17. I had like a, a sort of glossy, like picture quality, you know, gloss finished photograph of Liv Tyler. Oh. And I, I used to give it a, a, a wee kiss before I went to <laughs> sleep. Um, and then, you know, cut to, you know, uh, uh, 15 years later, maybe. Um, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in New York and I'm with a friend of mine who, who I'd worked with and, and she's an actress and, and, and she was like, I told her that story before. And then she's on the phone and she's acting funny and she's giggling and then she like hands me the phone and it's Liv Tyler. And oh. um, I speak to Liv Tyler on the phone and I don't know if you know Liv Tyler, but she's got like the sweetest like voice in the world. Yeah. And um, she's like, oh my God, I can't believe like, ah, that's the sweetest <laughs> thing. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm having to deal with this and tell this, this woman that I used to kiss her, her face every night before I went to sleep. <laughs> But, you know, she's very cool about it. How it's amazing. The best part of the whole yep. story was your impersonation of her voice. <laughs> yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.